Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick QR code for your App Inventor project in which everybody can install it using the QR code. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Projects and we need to export the AIA file. It only takes a second to do. Then we need to export our APK file and we're going to save it to the computer. We do that. Takes a little bit of time. Boom, boom, boom. Got a lot of stuff open on my computer, plus running the video. It's taking a little bit extra time. So I have my site here, and this is where I'm going to install my, put my, insert my QR code. But I'm going to the AIA file and the APK file that I downloaded. I'm going to add them to my site. This must be done. Um, I have my students add the AIA file, so I can download it later, and. Um, look at the code inside and also to make sure they named all their components plus the APK is how we create the QR code. So let's go back. Oh, that was generated and downloaded. So now I'm going to go upload those files. I've done it twice so I'm going to have that one. We don't want the ones with the one after it. We want to make sure it's just the Phoenix Squawk and the Phoenix Squawk APK. The APK. Do that and we upload them. Da -da -da. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So we upload those. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for those to upload, I'm going to go. I always forget um, the site. So I'm going to type in free QR code. Oops, I came into type free QR code. So the one we want that we use in the cloud course is QR code dot K. AYWA.com. Okay. KWA. Right, do that. I'm gonna make sure it's on static. Alright, make sure we have everything done there. Is it uploaded? Alright, so they're both uploaded. Then you're gonna go to the APK file and you're gonna right click on the down arrow and copy link address once they're uploaded. Then you're gonna go back to the site, paste it in. Um, we're not going to click generate yet. See where it says .apk here? That's where we want to stop. Everything after the APK, which usually starts with a question mark, we just delete. That's all. So it just ends .apk. Make sure it's on static, and we click generate. Now I want to continue with the survey. didn't generate. Interesting. Oh, there it goes. It came up. It just took a second. Just be patient. So, there we go. I'm going to save image as. Pictures later. I'm going to call it. WK. Squawk. Priority. Replace that. Because I did it before. I'm going to go back to App Inventor. Uh, not App Inventor. My website. Click on it take that and insert it. Then you can play with the size and save and there's your QR code where everybody can download it. You need both these files up there and make sure all the students have both these files up on their site for this. You cannot, this is what a lot of people do, they try to build it this way and get the QR code from here and then try to save that once it's generated. That only lasts for two hours so uh, chances are um, that's not going to work. So please discourage kids from doing that. So that's a simple way of making a QR code. Um, I hope this works. I'm not going to wait the 10. So here it comes. Let's see. Is it this code here? Da, da, da. Yeah, this one here. This one is just for installing it directly. For if you have a device here present while you have an app inventor, to put it up on the site will not work. Okay, so you need to do the first steps I told you in order to put your QR code up on the site correctly. I hope this helps.